Okay, hopefully you can kind of see what's happening here. Alright, so just opened up Inventor. This is what I see. Gonna open up a standard new part. Alright, you can do it. Oh yeah, lightning quick. Okay, so on a lathe, we got Z plus and X plus, which is what I want. So we're gonna rotate this. Okay, so down here, Z is pointing that way to the to the right and X is pointing up and Y is pointing towards me so what I want to do is I want to sketch on the Z X plane okay that's cool and let's make our center point invisible um, I, I, I'm very new to Inventor, and I don't know if this works completely different than Mastercam or what, but I'm fairly certain that that point is uh, Z0, X0, Y0, which is good. That's what I want. So I want to sketch on the XZ plane. Start 2D sketch. Okay. On the ZX plane. Um, anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but this coordinate uh, indicator does not match with this coordinate indicator, and that's what's driving me crazy. I don't know how to fix that. Um, I kind of want to make a template where this starts up default as in this view where my view cube is front and right side up right now it's top rotated counterclockwise because I'm used to drawing lathe parts you know out like this and then that's my center line x0 and then you know you can go do our do our stuff do some stuff you know stuff random lathe part here peg okay that's nice uh, finish sketch. Uh, uh, revolve. Uh, that thing. Round an axis. Okay. That's cool. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much right. You got the Z down the middle. Anyway, I think you can kind of see maybe what my problem is. I don't even know if I have a problem yet. I just don't know what the correct way to go about doing lathe part design in Inventor is, and I'm used to doing it in that 2D with your radius on top and. Um, Another thing that I'd really like to do is when you have your, your radius on top, I'd like to be able to enter diameters and only sketch half of it like Mastercam does with uh, D plus and Z plus. So when you enter X coordinates, you enter it in diameter, but it only shows up as a radius until you revolve it. So. I don't know, maybe you can make some sense of what I'm trying to say and uh, give me some tips.